Hey guys, it's me, Michael. Um, for this video, I'm not doing a video reaction. It's just a regular vlog that I feel needs to be said because it really makes me mad every time I see something or hear something about this subject. Um, yeah, because today I was eating dinner at a you know little food court area near where I live. And apparently on the news, I was watching it, and there's like this conversion therapy, which to be honest, I've never done therapy before. Um, I feel like I never had to. But if I have to, if I have to use it, I'll use it. I mean, I really don't like psychologists, really. But, you know, I'll go ahead and do it if I need it. But the subject that really, it's not the therapy part that pissed me off, it's the whole what it was a about that made me mad. I was like, what the fuck? No, it was talking about this conversion therapy that turns gay men or I'm pretty sure it might be the same for um, a lesbian. For pretty much anyone in the homosexual community, there's like this conversion therapy that's supposed to make you straight. I'm like, okay, who thought of that of? Well, what the fuck is up with these people? Because, you know, personally, I believe, you know, if you're a homosexual, you're a homosexual. It's who you are. It doesn't change you at all whether I've known you my entire life or not or like if you tell your family you know all of a sudden you're a homosexual and you've been dating the opposite sex pretty much your entire life and they go oh you're not homosexual you know pretty much just tell them I am gay or I am a lesbian get over it now they're not going to accept it at first that's to be honest that's um acceptable and they're not going to want to believe it but in due time they will believe it, they'll accept it about you, they accept it about you, especially your friends, even your friends, if they accept it, then they're accepting who you are, so you don't have to, like, feel guilty or anything like that, but, when, but whenever I hear stuff about, like, oh, we've developed a way to cure the gay or to cure the homosexual, I'm like, what is there to cure? These people deserve to be happy, I mean, if they're happy with, you know, if but if they're homosexual and they're happy with the person they're with, what does it matter? Everyone in the world deserves happiness. I mean, it takes a while to find. I mean, you could have the shittiest life of all time, and yet you find this one person that you just being with them. You don't have to talk or anything. Just being with them makes you happy. That's the most important thing in this community. I mean, and 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 it was just like the same sex as you. People shouldn't have to like force you to change, or you don't have to. You shouldn't have to force yourself to change to be accepted. You know, if they can't accept you for who you are at all, you don't have to hang out with them. You don't have to be with around them or anything. Now that's their loss. They lost like a perfectly good person in their life. You know, like if I would have found out that I'm, like my best friend is like gay or a lesbian, I'd be like. Okay, you are gay or a lesbian, whatever, you're homosexual. I accept that. You are still my friend. You, there's nothing different about you at all. Because it's still who you are. I hang out with you because I know you. I don't judge what, uh, and I'll judge whoever you're dating, obviously. I'll do that, but I won't judge you as a person. I wouldn't, just because you, all of a sudden, you tell me that you're homo, homosexual. I can accept that. You know, you're still the same person, but you know, and whenever I hear of these tricks or people saying, "Oh, you're gonna go to hell" or whatever, I'm like, people, homosexuality exists in our community. Okay, you need to leave it alone. You know, whether you accept it or not, because it's part of our part of this world. People fall in love, whether it's the same sex or not. You can't just tell them. No, you can't tell them, oh, you're going to go to hell, try and change their mind. What's the point? You, you can't do that. Ugh, makes me mad every time. Like, I don't know, like, I kind of understand, like, you know, even some cultures that would actually kill you for that. I don't understand why, but it's their culture, but, you know, I can't change culture. I can't change anything about this. It's just that, why would you want to turn someone that is this like homosexual into someone that's like 
I don't know, um, turn them from homosexual to a straight heterosexual. It's crazy. Why would you do that? You know, personally, I wouldn't even bother changing them. I mean, I'll probably lay ground rules on them, you know. But they're still your friend, they're still your brother, sister, cousin, whatever. You should have to, you know, you may not accept it at first. You know, not every, it takes time. But it, it, people keep saying, oh no, you're not gay, and they put you into like this camp or whatever that turns you from gay to straight. I mean, they're not really accepting you. I don't understand why people do that. It's crazy, like. Because personally, I think you need to leave them alone. If you can't accept that, then and you still want to hang out with them, I'll way I did. If you if you as a person, like tell them that, and they can't accept it, the person that came out shouldn't hang out with that one, like with that friend or whatever, because they're not accepting. It's wrong. I mean, you don't want to force people to change. You can't force people to change. You have to leave them. If you know if you go to the conversion therapy or camp or whatever on your own free will, then go for it. I mean, I can't change you. I can't stop you. No one can stop you from doing that. I mean, especially if you're eighteen and up and you're you're like basically an adult. You know, I know in America, I don't know where else in the world, but when you reach the age of eighteen here in America, you pretty much are an adult. You move out with your parents' house, go date whoever you want to date. I mean, there's nothing stopping you but you, but it's crazy. You can't just do that to someone. You can't just tell them, oh, you're not homosexual, you can't be. And then, stupid. Seriously. You can't do that. You accept that person. They're still the same person, just into the same sex. You know, people that come out are always nervous, you know. Some people come out like early on in their life and the parents accept it and they want their kids to be happy. That's the most important thing that your parents want. And then and they don't feel ashamed or anything. They don't go like, oh, why did I do this? Now I feel ashamed for telling them this. They're like happy. And then there are some people that find out that they're, of their sexuality, that, that whether they're homosexual or bisexual at an early age, but they're too afraid to tell their parents or tell their friends or tell anyone. It's crazy. Like, they're too nervous. They feel ashamed of it. And the main problem that most, especially parents, especially parents, the main problem parents have with their children being homosexual is the fact that they think they can't have, that their kids can't have, they can't have grandchildren. Like, what the fuck? That's not true. You can have grandchildren in a homosexual relationship, you know. Uh, for, I know for sure lesbians, there you can go, I know there's like, there might be like some places that get sperm donors and they hold a sperm and you can just go there and be like, hey, can I see, like, what, cate like, what categories, like, if you want specific hair or whatever. They'll give you that gene. Possibly you won't get that gene in the kid. But you know, it's still an option, especially if you're a lesbian couple. And you just go to the hospital and do that. Or you can find a friend or a family member that is willing to donate. You know, if you're like related to that person, you have to let your partner do the job. You don't want that to happen. <laughs> but um, you know, you don't want to end up going on. But you, just find a donor for a lesbian couple and, you know, make sure they sign off a nice little paper saying, hey, I give you all rights to this. But if they want a joint uh, custody, you can do that as well. I mean, it's, nothing stops you from doing that. And if you want your kid to know who their dad is in a lesbian couple, or a gay couple, it's almost the same thing, you know. Because you can't go to the hospital and get that stuff, but, you know, you can you can like just, yeah, I thought I heard something outside. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. But for a male homosexual couple, you can just go find a girl that's willing to donate, you know, her egg, like donate her cell for you guys. I mean, it's really, it's really not that hard, you know. Find some drugs. You can also do the joint custody thing if you want that. It's not illegal or anything, you know, family member. 
selfish, but whoever you're dating, you do that. You don't want incest. Again, you don't want incest, but a lot of parents are always so concerned about having grandchildren. And they're saying, well, grandchildren. And when you hear about a, when you hear your kid a homosexual, you think that's the first thing that pops into their head. Like, oh my god, my kid is homosexual? No grandchildren for me. Like, are you crazy? You can start grandchildren. There's other ways to have grandchildren. There's also adoption. It may, it may not be your blood, but you know, you can still get kids that way. Adoption is also a good option. And, you know, it's crazy. I don't understand why parents and people around the world always try to change someone who's gay or who's a lesbian. You shouldn't do that. You're not, if you do that, you're not accepting that person for who they are. You know, I support homosexuality, um, but you know, it, it always pisses me off. People, leave them alone. This is their life. You know, you can intervene while they're under the age of 18, but once they reach the age of 18, leave them alone. Let them be happy. You know, they're not going to be 100% happy if their fam they can't, if their family doesn't accept their friends don't accept it. And like the option I can think of for you guys is to cut ties from them. I mean, you're not, I'm not going to have to like fill out documents and tell them, hey, guess what? I'm cutting all ties with you. I'm no longer related to you or anything like that. You don't have to do that. It's not, you, that's something that's not really required. So you don't have to worry about that. But, you know, it's still annoying. You know, cut ties from them. They'll regret it later in the future for not accepting you. You shouldn't feel, like, obligated to not homosexual, that is who you are, or bisexual, that is who you are. People need to understand that you need to leave them alone. Let them live their life. If they want, if they voluntarily want to, you know, go to the camps or go to that conversion therapy that's on the news, you know, go ahead. It's your choice. I can't stop you. You know, no one can stop you. you know, if this is your choice. Everything in life is about choices, whether it's a hard one or an easy one. But when it comes to homosexuality, people need to leave that alone. Something that is personal. You, you personally, I don't unless you want me to intervene in your personal life. I'm not going to like barge in your personal life and be like, hey, guess what? Let's hear the homosexuality. If you want to change? Change. Do it for yourself. Though. Don't do it because you want to make things better for you or your family or whatever. Because it's a stupid thing to do. You need to learn that people need to accept that. You know, whether it's because of religion that they don't accept it or what you need to, or how they were raised. You can't block stuff that stuff out no matter how hard you try. You know, you can be throwing a big old parade telling people, you know, don't support sexual homosexuality. Guess what? It's gonna stay. There's still gonna be people out there in the world, you know, supporting, you know, willing to support this no matter what. And it's really annoying to me. It makes me mad to see this happening. That people don't accept this at all. And then it's really annoying. It's not something I can like, grasp. People, you need to understand that. It, especially again, if you parents want their kids to be happy, obviously. Everyone, especially friends, family, wants you to be happy. That's the most part of in your life that they want. It. But if, if they're happy with the person they're in a homosexual relationship with, don't ruin it. Don't change them. Let them be. If they're making a mistake, that's for them to find out in you know, their life. I personally don't think you should barge into someone's life because of this. And, like, you know, and just accept the fact, you know, that you may never know. You may actually like that person. You know, like that person, not like, Oh my god, I'm in love with you, but you know, like that, but like, you know, you are a good match for my friend, or my son, or daughter, or whatever. I mean, that's the most important thing. So you people need to like, leave it alone, and let them live their life. Because, the first, because I honestly don't like it when people do that. You know, I'll gladly support, if you need someone to lean on, Find some, find a friend that you know will not judge you because of this. That's the best thing you can do. And like, just need it. Makes me.
be mad and I'll never do that. It's crazy. And uh, <clears throat> to be honest, I think people need to accept it. Like there's some things that people don't support. You don't have to support it to accept it. It's all this craziness. It's weird. So, you know, for those of you who are homosexual out there, I support you. I'll be happy. That's all you gotta do. Be happy. And for those people who don't, you know, support you or keep telling you that you're not gay or whatever, like craziness, this is your life. Don't let someone else tell you how to live it or what to do with it. You know, if you want, if you're, even if you're bi curious and you're like, well, knock yourself out. No one's stopping you. It's your life. You know, if it's just a one time thing, it's a one time thing. But if you just, if it's, Permanent thing for you, need it. Enjoy your life. You know, I'm not saying just go out and bang whoever. Just live your life. Find someone you can relate to and be happy with. You know, you may end up being the wrong person you know? That happens. Everyone, that happens to everyone. Don't feel like you're the only one. It happens to everyone. I mean, first time I haven't found that yet, but eventually I will. I mean, Mark, you know, personally, you get it. But you really need to like your thing. Not let people do this to you. So, yeah, if you guys, if any of you are, like, if you, any of you in the homeless are trying to have this problem, I already support you, whether I know you or not. You deserve happiness. You need to be able to live your life without people interfering with it. So, that's my point. I really needed to get this off my chest and out there in the community because this is. Out of everything today, that made this thing made me the worst. Like pissed off. So you get a. I'm not gonna go further than that. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys wanna just want to live your homosexuality life, homosexual life, not give up at all. No one's stopping you. Don't listen to people that keep telling you no, you're not, and all that because they're not you. You are you. you if you've already accepted about yourself, great. That's one step to happen is accepting who you are. Your friend and family can't accept it, then screw them. Just leave it be. Don't bother with them. Just be like, no, if you can't accept this about me, I guess I'll go and leave you alone until you learn to accept it. And just start from there. Come out to your family if you have to, but don't be afraid to do anything that will like make you ashamed. Like coming out. It's crazy. You guys are really happiness. And I thank people for watching this and listening to me to rant for about 18, 19 minutes. And yeah, that's just my thoughts. You know, I needed to get that out there. Get it off my chest too. It's crazy. So, my Cut it off here, you know. If you guys want to leave comments, I'm going to go out. And if you need questions, I'll ask. I'll answer some questions. I don't mind. So, see ya.